Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. We begin with new information tonight. In the case of a yellow cab jumping a curb along a busy street in the city. Six people were hurt, three people critically. Strangers worked together to lift the car off two people who were pinned underneath. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon spoke to a physical therapist from Australia who sprung into action. Maurice and Christine, no shortage of heroes as strangers jumped in to help after a yellow cab jumped a curb, pinning two victims underneath it along the sidewalk. Uh, and lucky enough, I guess just my training kicked in. Scott Robbins was having coffee with his partner when a bicyclist coming down Broadway slammed into a yellow cab making a turn off of West 29th. Police are reviewing surveillance video and believe the cyclist may have ran a red light. Police say the 60 year old driver tried to hit the brakes, but instead hit the gas pedal. At one point, the taxi driver tried to reverse, and I yelled at him to stop. The cab had jumped the curb, hitting three people, pinning two of them under the car. Scott, who works at an emergency room in Australia, says the situation was bad. I knew the other leg was broken, but I thought it was attached. And then she moved to try and sit up, and I realized it was no longer attached. And at that point, um, she started bleeding profusely. He wasn't alone. There were dozens who ran in to try and move the cab that was pinning two of the victims. It was shocking and you know traumatizing. Quickly, you're just kind of shaking and reacting, and we were getting ice and uh, taking like aprons out. We got a yeah, belt off of somebody to provide a tourniquet. Mayor Eric Adams says the investigation will be thorough and thank those who stepped in to help. You saw New Yorkers surrounding the cab, trying to assist as much as possible. Now, we know the cab driver was complaining of chest pain following that crash, and two of the victims were visiting from Columbus, Ohio, while two others were in town from Mexico. On Broadway at West 29th, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.